I've always been interested in the Battle of El Alamein, the desert conflict. My father was the BBC's first war correspondent and he was in the desert for two years leading up to just before that battle was fought. It's been a source of huge controversy, people asking, should it have been fought at all? In those two years, thousands of people spilt their blood in the desert for a cause. What I didn't know was why we were fighting in this barren land, for what purpose. And I didn't know how important it was, whether it was important. So what I've tried to do in Destiny in the Desert is to answer those two core questions. But it's also a huge human drama. So I've tried to uh, capture what it was like for the soldiers in the desert in these appalling conditions, long periods of extreme boredom, severe discomfort, followed by moments of, of terror and warfare, and the drama in the capital cities where their fate was being settled, whether it was London, Washington, Rome, Berlin, and trying to understand why those countries got involved in this faraway area, this faraway theatre. The answer to the question is, to my mind, that the war in the Mediterranean and the Middle East was absolutely critical um, and that it shaped the whole course of the Second World War. And there are heroes and there are villains, but most of all, there is the extraordinary drama of people struggling day after day, week after week, month after month, to make decisions of life and death which affected all those involved.